Okay, so here we have a black tip shark. This is a male black tip here. Uh, a little bit better than four feet long. And here, even though it's a black tip, if you notice, it does not have real prominent black tips on its fins, although they are here. But unlike the spinner shark, that, that the black tips are very prominent, and this guy, they're just sort of faded. And here's the important distinguishing characteristic between a black tip and a spinner. When we roll this guy, when you look at the anal fin, if you notice, there's no black tip on this fin, even though this is a black tip shark, there's no black tip on the spinner, on the anal fin. If this was a spinner, that would be black. Also, unlike the spinner, the black tip is a little bit uh, girthier here in the top, um, just a little bit huskier, a little bit bigger in the head area. And if we look at the teeth and jaws too, the lower jaw, you see the red around the lower teeth. Most black tips have this, where the spinners is usually just all white around the gum area there. The black tips, for some reason, they've got the um, sort of a, a reddish hue there. One more thing that we notice in the black tips up here in the mid-Atlantic area, right here we see these marks on the skin. And if I rub my hands on there, I actually feel the grit. These are the, the uh, dermal denticles on the skin are sort of slumping off. I don't know why they do it, but we notice this up here. Down in the south, we normally don't see this. So they sort of have a kind of a ragged appearance. But other than that, that's your normal black tip shark.